are you all and welcome. Today on Draw Along With Me, we'll be creating something that looks like this, an isometric fish tank or aquarium with a character of your own creation. So grab your iPad and your Apple Pencil and let's get started. Today's tutorial was inspired by an isometric dream room that we are creating at Patreon this month. Check it out. Let's start by changing this background color. Click on the Layers panel, tap Background Color. Using Classic or whatever you prefer, find the color, the base color that you'd like to use, and move this around until you like it. Don't worry too much about this. We can always come back to this layer later to change the color. Tap Done. Click on the color circle and select a color that you would like to sketch with. This is totally up to your preference and it does not have to be the same as mine. Click on the brush tool and select Sketching, HB Pencil, 6B Pencil, whatever you prefer. Tap on the wrench, Canvas, Drawing Guide. Edit Drawing Guide, Isometric. You can change all of these settings if you'd like to match mine. Choose 60. Tap Done. If you'd like to change the color of your lines, you can do so here. Just make sure to tap Assisted Drawing. Tap Done. Let's begin to build the fish tank. Find the approximate middle point here at the bottom and choose how long your fish tank is going to be. Here I have selected 10 squares. And 12 in this direction. Choose whatever you prefer and let's keep going. Draw a line up from this middle point, however tall you would like your fish tank to be. So for me, that is 28 tall. Let's mirror each of these in all directions. So for me, this one was 10. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Connect those lines together. And it looks like I missed one. Same thing in this direction. I think mine was 12. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And connect these lines together. You can use your two finger pinch to move it around. If like me, you're going to have limited space, it's not a problem. Tap on the arrow tool. Use two fingers to zoom out and see everything that you're working with. Tap on this lightning bolt. Make sure that snapping and magnetics is turned on. Slide this down or up wherever you need it to go. Just make sure to find some lines again. Great arrow tool to get out of that. Here, try to cross these lines to connect them from this point and this point. Great! Let's create the inside space. So follow this line in, find where it crosses, and then connect these two together. Now determine how much of the upper part of this rectangular prism you would like to have be the fish tank itself, and how much you would like to be the little cabinet. So I think mine will be right about to here for the cabinet. So for those of you who are following along exactly, that is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12 spaces up. Then just follow that all the way around to complete the base of the fish tank and the top of the cabinet. Now let's remember to include the top lid. So that could be either one or two spaces, whatever you prefer. So I think for me, that'll be two spaces. If you would like for yours to be open on top, by all means do so. Otherwise, I think we have the base for the fish tank and the cabinet. Erase back any unnecessary lines that you see. So click and hold the eraser tool to get the same brush. For me, that's going to be this top part because I'll actually have a lid on mine. Change the opacity and brush size as needed, of course. Now 
This is the back glass that will be visible. This part in front is going to be filled with little stones, pebbles, sand, whatever you like. So we won't need that line there. And actually we won't need these lines either. So erase back any lines that are unnecessary for your piece and we'll keep going. Perhaps instead of including fish in your tank, you're going to include turtles, frogs, snakes, whatever you like. Switch back to the brush to add a few more details. For example, for me, this front part here is going to be a cabinet, but I think I'll create a small nook up top from about here. And then I'll use this line to create some depth. Then down here, some simple lines to indicate the doors of the cabinet part of the fish tank. So if this was 10 and this was 12, then six should be the approximate middle here. So two, four, six, that should be the middle, but we can double check. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, great. You can add little round handles on a separate layer if you'd like, but I think for me, I'll just do three squares long and half a square wide for my little handles. And connect those lines together. And perhaps add a little tiny sliver for depth. This is looking pretty good for the base of the aquarium or fish tank itself. Let's move on. Click on the layers panel plus symbol to add a new layer. On this first layer, tap the large N and bring the blue bar for opacity down so you can see everything else more clearly. Make sure you're on your layer too. As we add new layers, if you ever want your lines to snap to the grid, tap on the new layer and select Drawing Assist. Otherwise, let's keep going. Click on the color circle and select a different color to begin to add some details. That way you can see the separation between your elements. We will change this later, so don't worry too much about it. Here on layer two, I would like to add the either sand or gravel, small pebbles, whatever it is you'd like in this bottom space. And it does not have to be perfect, but we'll just create the illusion that there's something else here. Good. So that sand or gravel or whatever it is will fill this space later. So you don't have to do these lines here, but I'm drawing them in to help myself with that later. However, this means that we can begin to erase back some of these other elements if we don't need them. If you're worried about this, click on the layers panel, swipe on the very first layer we created, tap duplicate, Hide that duplicated layer and swipe to lock it. That way you have a safe copy of the original aquarium and we can keep working. So here on this new layer one that has the aquarium on it, we can erase back some of these extra lines. This will just help us with readability later when we go to finalize the sketch. Now this line here in front will still be there, so leave that and let's keep going. Add new layers as needed to add different elements and switch to different colors if it helps you to visualize the piece. Layers panel, tap on the top layer, which is that sand or gravel or stone, whatever you're going to put there, plus symbol to add a new layer. Switch to a different color if it helps you and let's keep going. Here, let's begin to sketch in different rocks or corals, wherever you'd like them to be. Feel free to look up references if it helps you. Just play with this and have fun.
Click on the Layers panel, Add New Layers, and change the color as needed. Switch back and forth between your layers to add different elements. Try to follow the isometric grid whenever you can. If you don't like something, erase it and try again. Add new layers and switch colors whenever you like. Continue adding layers with different colors to add in extra elements. Use references as needed. Plus symbol to add a new layer. Switch to a different color again, whatever you like. And add in what you want. Click on the Layers panel and add layers wherever you want them to be and however often. Add in fun elements like a treasure chest or a skull or a sunken ship, whatever you like. Remember, this is just a sketch, so we can change things however we like. If snapping or magnetics gets annoying to you, just turn those off and keep working. Resize on uniform at any point. While it's still a sketch, this is perfectly fine to do. When you're satisfied with the number of rocks, anemone, and whatever else you decide to add, let's begin to simplify the sketch by going through each layer and erasing the objects underneath that won't be seen. Click on the Layers panel, start at the sand or pebble layer, whatever you have here. Click on the next layer, Show and Hide, to see what you need to erase back. So this pink object will be in front of that purple stone, so I'll erase the extra. Same thing over here. 
and here is a huge pink object, so all of this purple stone will disappear. Same thing through this orange area. And up here. This green one is behind the purple stone, so it will stay. Looks like I can erase back some more of these lines here, at least this one. Click on the layers panel and find that layer. Erase back any unnecessary lines. And let's keep going. Good. Click on the next layer, hide and show it, and see what you need to change from here. It looks like we can raise back some of the pebble area. Click on the layers panel, go to that layer, and do that now. I missed some over here for that sand or pebble layer. Hop back over there and erase these back. Go through and make sure yours is readable to you, and then we'll go on. Click on the Layers panel, top on the very top layer, plus symbol to add a new layer. Choose whatever color you would like to sketch this part with. And here, add in a few fish wherever you think they should go. Remember that this is just the sketch, so this will not be the final color for any of these fish, or at least not all of them. Add however many fish you'd like to your aquarium. It does not need to be the same as mine. Click on the layers panel, plus symbol to add new layer. Choose a kind of light blue color for the water at the top and add the water wherever you think it should go as a line. Try to follow the isometric grid as you do this, but we won't have it snap to the grid as this is water and it should be more fluid. Click on the layers panel, plus symbol to add new layer. Choose a different color to add something to the little nook area if you also chose to do that. I think I will include a little fishnet and maybe a jar. So kind of following the isometric grid, but not strictly. And perhaps a little jar down here. To do that, draw a circle, leave the pencil on the screen, place your finger on the screen. Ribbon or selection tool on freehand with no color fill. Wrap it around the object. Arrow tool. Distort. And make it fit the isometric grid. 2 by 2, 1 by 1, 3 by 3, whatever you like. And for mine, I think 1 by 1 will be just fine. 
then move it to where you'd like your jar to be. Mine will be right about here. Ribbon tool wrapped around the object, three finger swipe down, duplicate, arrow tool, snapping, snapping and magnetics, and push this up. Click on the brush tool and connect those lines. Tap on the layers panel, click on this layer and erase that excess. Good. You can merge these two layers together. After making that little jar, I'm feeling inspired to add a little plant up here. So if you would like to do that as well, let's go. Click on the layers panel, plus symbol to add a new layer. Choose a color to add the pot for the plant. Draw a circle, leave the pencil on the screen, place your finger on the screen, lift up. Arrow tool. It should wrap around the object like this. Tap to sort and make it fit the isometric grid, however big you'd like it to be. So for this one, I'll try three by three. Turn off snapping if it gets annoying. Arrow tool, arrow tool again, move it to where you'd like it to be. I'd like my plant to be hanging over this side. Maybe I'll have one on this side, but I'm not sure yet. Click on the layers panel, swipe and duplicate. Tap on the arrow tool with snapping and magnetics turned on. Push it up. If you'd like it to be a cylinder, leave it like that or use uniform to stretch it out. Just make sure to find the blue line. So perhaps turn off magnetics to find that middle blue line. Oh, there's mine. Let go. Click on the brush tool and connect these sides. Edit shape as needed. Brush tool to get out of that. Click on the layers panel, tap on this layer, eraser tool to erase back any extra that you want, that you don't want for your picture. Click on the layers panel. You can pinch to merge these two layers together. Plus symbol to add a new layer. Click on the color circle and choose something to use for adding the plant. So we are on this new layer. Create whatever kind of plant you want for this space. and add the leaves. Use a new layer if you prefer to help you with readability. As always, turn the canvas as needed to help you. Make these leaves a little bit smaller as they get lower, if you prefer. Switch back to this layer to erase back the unnecessary lines, as well as on the terracotta pot layer. If at this point you're satisfied with the placement of your pot and you don't want to move it around anymore, you can switch over to the original outline layer to erase back these unnecessary lines. Tap on this layer and turn off drawing assist if you prefer.
think I would like to add one more little pot over here. Scroll all the way to the top, tap on the top layer, plus symbol to add a new layer. Find a color to help you create the pot. For me, I will make mine follow the isometric grid and make a cube. So tap on this layer and select Drawing Assist. Perhaps I'll make mine a rectangle, so 3 by 2, up 2, over, 3 and 2. Arrow tool to move this to wherever you want it to be. If you'd like to flip horizontal, you can try this placement as well. Click on the Layers panel, plus symbol to add a new layer. Click on the color circle and select a color to help you with the plant. Create whatever kind of a plant you'd like to see in this space. For me, I'm going to draw several little cactuses. Click on the Layers panel, switch back over to this layer, and erase anything that you don't need. If you like the placement of your second pot, click on the Layers panel, go to the original outline layer, and erase that back. When you have as much detail as you'd like to add, click on the Layers panel and merge all of these layers together. If you have this extra layer still, you could keep that if you like. Otherwise, swipe, unlock, swipe, delete. Click on the Layers panel, tap on the large N, and bring the opacity down. Plus symbol to add a new layer. Click on the Brush tool, and choose an inking brush. Either inking, technical pen, or if you downloaded the free pen and ink brush set, choose Simple Ink. Click on the color circle, and choose whatever color you would like all of your outlines to be in. We are on this new layer. Tap on this layer, select Drawing Assist. It should now say Assisted. Test the brush size and change it as needed. But keep it fairly consistent throughout. On this layer that's assisted, make all of the straight lines. except for the glass. We'll do something else for that. When you have all of these straight lines traced, click on the Layers panel, plus symbol to add a new layer, and choose a blue color for the glass. Click 
Click on the Layers panel, tap on this layer, and select Drawing Assist. Add the glass lines in wherever they should go. Here, here, and here. You can trace all the way along the inside edge if you like. Click on the Layers panel, plus symbol, and switch back to the color that you are using for the box. Trace all of the other elements. I think I'll do mine magically. Click on the Layers panel, click and hold this layer and drag it underneath the glass layer. Plus symbol to add a new layer under the glass layer. Click on the color circle and choose a blue, whatever you like. For this one, I'll make mine darker than the glass itself. Let's add the top edge of the water. To the inside of the glass. Once you're done tracing all of the elements using the different colors if you prefer, let's go on. Once you have all of the elements traced that you'd like to trace, let's move on. I've left the green leaves up here empty because I would like to go over those in green ink during the color blocking phase. Click on the layers panel, swipe right on all of these layers, tap to group them together, click on the carrot, hide and show the group to make sure you got all of the inking layers. For each of these, tap on the large N and select multiply. Close the carrot. You can click this check mark to hide the original sketch if you prefer. But keep this if you have extra elements like me that you did not include. Tap on this layer plus symbol to add a new layer underneath the group. You can tap on this layer and rename it to line work. If you want to rename this layer, tap on it, tap it again, click rename and rename it something that you like. Sketch, for example. Let's start by color blocking the larger elements. Click on this new layer. Click on the color circle and select whatever color you would like your cabinets to be. Click on the ribbon or selection tool with freehand and color fill and make those selections. Do the same thing in this space up here. Click on the ribbon or selection tool, tap it again with freehand and color fill turned on. Make the selection. Click on the layers panel, tap on this layer to rename it if you prefer. Plus symbol to add a new layer. Click on the color circle and choose a color for your water, whatever you like. Click on the ribbon or selection tool with freehand and color fill turned on and select the water. But not this area that should just be glass.
click on the color circle and change this color if you would like to at this point. Ribbon or selection tool to get out of that. Click on the layers panel plus symbol to add a new layer. You can rename this layer if you like. Tap on it, tap it again, rename. Tap on this new layer, click on this layer again and select Clipping Mask. Now we can only paint over the selection, Greet. Click on the color circle and select a color for your gravel or sand, whatever it is that you want there. I think mine will be sand. Click on the ribbon or selection tool and make that selection. Click on the color circle and change this color at this time if you prefer. Click on the layers panel plus symbol to add a new layer. Again, tap on this layer and select clipping mask. You can rename these as you go if you like. For this part, let's start in the back and work our way forward. Choose whatever color you would like for each piece of coral, add a new layer as you need to, and keep on going, working from the back to the front. Let's go! Use your eraser tool to clear up these areas, and let's just keep going. If you have any areas like this that you've missed, click on the ribbon or selection tool with that color and the brush tool, just fill them in. Great, let's keep going. Click on the layers panel, plus symbol to add a new layer, tap on this layer and select clipping mask. Choose a different color and let's keep going. Using the brush tool, outline the shape that you would like to fill. Make sure that each line touches the next so that you can drag and drop to fill the color. Switch to other colors. Add new layers as needed using the clipping mask and just keep going. If, like me, you ever uh, realize that a color is just not working, choose a different color and drag it into that space to try it. Let's keep going.
just play with this and have fun. It doesn't have to be perfect. Keep adding layers with the clipping mask to get through all of these pieces. Merge layers as needed. And use your color drop wherever you can. I think you get the idea. I'll do the rest of mine magically. Once you have the base color of each of these elements that's within the water, click on the layers panel plus symbol to add a new layer, but do not add a clipping mask and keep painting the other objects. I'll do mine magically. Click on the layers panel plus symbol to add a new layer. Click and hold the sketch layer and drag it just beneath this new layer. Turn it on. On this new layer, add in this plant, however you want it to be. You can turn down the opacity of this layer even further and continue. Add a new layer if you prefer. Increase the brush size as needed. As you can see, the lines are covering this up but we will change this in just a moment. Click on the layers panel, hide the sketch layer, 
You can merge these two layers together at this point. That was the vines and the leaves. Click and hold this layer and drag it above the line work layer. Click on the layers panel and change different elements as you prefer. You can try darker for the background. If you like it, keep it. If you don't, just undo and get back to what you had before. All right, you all, this is looking awesome. Let's tap on the wrench and hide the drawing guide. For the sake of safety for mine, I'm actually going to duplicate my entire canvas. It looks like we're ready for shading and highlighting, but let's first center this on the canvas. Click on the layers panel and swipe right on all of the layers to highlight all of them blue. You cannot select the background color, so don't worry about that. Arrow tool, make sure that snapping but not magnetics is on, and look for the two crossing orange lines. Mine appears to be right there, but that's because of my plant. So I'm actually gonna push mine further over and only use this horizontal line. I think mine looks good right about there. Arrow tool to get out of that. Click on the layers panel and now find the layers that you can merge together. So for example, the sketch layer, we are done with this now. Swipe and delete. Let's go ahead and leave this layer alone that's not with the clipping mask layers. For all of these clipping mask layers, let's merge them together except for this, except for the water. Squish to merge them together, watching over here to make sure nothing changes. Squish to merge them together. You could leave the sand and the water on their own layers as well, or squish to merge this one with the sand. I think that's what I'll do. The cabinet and the water can be merged together, but since we've got the clipping mask on the water, let's leave those alone. Tap on this layer and rename it if you like. Here we can swipe right on all of these layers and tap group. Close the group, tap this layer and rename it to color or something like that. Plus symbol to add a new layer. Click on the large N and select linear burn or multiply, whatever you prefer for shadows. Click on the color circle and select whatever color you want for your shadows. Try out different things and see what you like. Choose a direction that the light is coming from. So for me, it will be in the front area. So shadow will be on this side of all of the elements. All right, have fun, add shadow wherever you'd like it to go. You can click on the layers panel, tap on the LB or the M, whichever you use to multiply or linear burn and bring down the opacity as needed. I think I'll try starting mine at about 40% and go from there. Bring up the brush size as needed and begin. I already think that my shadow is going to be a little bit strong, so I'll tap on the LB and drop that to around 35 or 34 percent and keep going.
Just move through step by step, adding shadow wherever you think it should go. You can use this as well to add texture, whatever you like. We'll add the shadows and highlights to the plant later on. When you're finished shading all of these parts, click on the Layers panel, tap on the Plant layer, plus symbol to add a new layer. Here, tap on this layer and select Clipping Mask. You should now see an arrow pointing down at the plant. Tap on the large N and shift the blending mode to Linear Burn, and bring down the opacity to whatever you had before, or something similar. Add the shadow wherever you think it should go. And use this to create texture as well.
When you've finished adding shadow to the plant, we'll go on. Great, let's begin to add highlights. Click on the Layers panel, tap on your shadow layer, plus symbol to add a new layer. Click on the large N and switch it to something like Screen or Add, whatever you prefer. Tap on the large A and bring this down to around 34% again, 35 maybe. You can change this as needed. Choose a light bright color, perhaps one from your color palette. I'll try this yellow. And add the highlights wherever you think they should go. For the plant, once again, we will add a special layer later, so don't worry about that quite yet. Continue adding highlights wherever you'd like them to be, and when you're done, we'll go on. You can add some sort of squiggles throughout to give the indication of water, as much or as little as you'd like. Click on the Layers panel, plus symbol to add a new layer. Tap on this large N and select Add. Bring the blending mode down to around 34%. Using the selection tool with freehand and color fill, select this front part of the cabinet. Click on this large A and change the opacity to something you prefer. I think I like mine around 20%. Choose what works for you and we'll go on. Click on the Layers panel, scroll all the way up to the top layer, tap on it, plus symbol to add a new layer. Click on the large N and switch that to Add. Bring the opacity down to something like 34, whatever you like. For this one, tap on this layer and select Clipping Mask so that the arrow is pointing at the plants. Add highlight to the plant wherever you think it should go. Bring the opacity up or down as preferred.
When you've added all the highlights that you'd like to to the plant, we'll move on. Alright you all, this is looking great, but I think there's just one thing missing. Click on the Layers panel, plus symbol to add a new layer, click and hold this layer and drag it all the way to the bottom. Tap the large N and switch this to Linear Burn. Bring the opacity down to something you like, like 34 or whatever. Get your shadow color back. And let's add a little shadow from the cabinet. Next, click on the Layers panel and scroll to the top, tap the very top layer, plus symbol to add a new layer. Click on the color circle and select whatever color you would like for the animal or human character that you're going to add to your piece. Here I'll select almost pure black and begin to draw my character. So use this new layer to draw your character and we'll go on. Once you've finished sketching out your character however you'd like it to be, make sure to use the arrow tool to place it where you think it should go. So for example, maybe mine will go better right there. Maybe I should tilt it a little bit. I'd like for mine to be kind of looking at that yellow fish. So I think I'll leave her right about there. Click on the layers panel when you're ready, plus symbol to add a new layer. Tap on this layer, tap it again, in the options to the left, select Clipping Mask. Click on the color circle, select whatever color you've been using for your highlights. Click back on the Layers panel, tap the large N and shift it to Add or Screen, whatever you preferred, and bring the opacity down. Add your highlight wherever you'd like it to be. When you're satisfied with how your character looks, congratulations, you are finished with the piece. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know what you thought and I'll see you next time.